Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another morning with Proverbs. This is where we share a short two-minute video sharing from the Book of Wisdom, otherwise known as the Book of Proverbs, written by the wisest king that ever lived, King Solomon, who asked God for one thing. He never asked for money, fame, or power. What he did for ask for is, God, please, you're going to give me anything. Give me the most valuable thing. Wisdom and knowledge. Please bless me with that so I know how to really be successful in this life, but also show other people how to be successful in this life. So that's why we have the book of Proverbs so we can share in that godly wisdom too. So let's really get into this. For those taking notes, we're going to be reading from chapter 17 of Proverbs, verse 4, and he reads this. A wicked man listens to evil lips. A liar pays attention to a malicious tongue. Understand this. This is a, this is a real big one right here. Solomon is not talking about the person who's actually speaking. Solomon's not talking about the person who's actually spreading bad gossip or saying bad things about someone. He's saying, I want to, I want to talk to the person who's actually paying attention. I want, I want to pay um, the person who's actually listening to these things. Solomon's now saying that, you know what? If you're listening to these things, you're just as bad as the person who's saying it. So, hey, let's break this down. If you're at work and you hear somebody slandering the boss, or if you're at work and you hear somebody slandering your next work colleague and you don't say anything, or you're all up in that conversation, the Bible, Solomon says here that you're a wicked man because you're contributing to the slander of the next person, right? If you're somebody who buys the paper and you buy, of all the papers that you can buy, you buy the paper that's all about slandering people, he says you're part of the problem. You know, even though you're not saying it because you know, too many of us are like, yo, do you know, or let's give me, a, give me another example. We'll talk about a church saying, are you someone who's slandering the pastor? And you know, you're like, well, I didn't say anything yet, but you're all up in that group that's speaking it. And you're not the one stopping up and saying, do you know what? That's wrong. Okay. Solomon's saying right here, you don't necessarily have to be the person who's saying it. But if you're paying attention and you're listening to that. You're just as bad as a person saying it because you ain't standing up and saying, nah, that's wrong. And you ain't walking away from that conversation and saying, I don't want no part of it. So you're just as bad as them. So Solomon's saying here, do you know what? You may not be speaking it, but check your heart right now. Are you the one who likes being around it? Are you the one who likes listening to it? If you are, change. It ain't good and it'll only bring destruction. Because trust me, if you like listening when someone's doing it to you, someone sooner or later, someone's going to say it about you. All right? See, so what goes around comes around. Don't see the wrong seeds, okay? Because trust me, you won't like it when it comes back to you. So, as we always say with Jen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. And we always say, go out there and be blessed, but more importantly, go and be a blessing. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.